Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna make this one a quick short video. Um, just wanted to give y'all an update. We have the adapter plate and the coupler fit, ready to go. Um, I've got the transmission and all that set up here on the bench, uh, here to my left, your right. And as you can see, there's some panels in the background, hood, behind that's a deck lid, the convertible top cover, the valence between the uh, trunk engine area and the passenger compartment. Anyway, so I just had the dent taken out this past Sunday um, over there in the corner. It looks so much better. Um, if we got a little bit of time at the end of the video, I'll show you and um, you can see what an awesome difference this is. Um, so let me get this set up. I'm going to get all set up and I'm going to bring you all back and show you how it all goes together and then I'll hook up some battery and uh, hopefully we won't have too much initial take off on us and won't spin these axles out of their housing um, just because there's no wheels attached to the end. So let me get set up and then we'll come right back. All right, before I keep going, I wanted to show you all my coupler. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, 850 underscore EV underscore project, you'll see that this is up with the transmission and the adapter plate. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like up close and explain it to you real quick before I hide it behind the adapter plate. Um, so this is the old clutch that was on the um, internal combustion engine. Um, I took off all the texture here to get to these little um, gaps and I was able to drill holes through this aluminum coupler um, and I threaded those holes that way these are gripping all the way through and they go all the way through the plate. Um, I have a washer underneath them to kind of match up with the um, surface so that way they're not completely pressed and squeezed um, that way it keeps it kind of central there. And then on the back side we have our key part which actually attaches to our motor. Um, this is a little key that goes on the motor and it actually has two bolts here and here that I can loosen it, slide it on there and tighten it on if I wanted to. Um, then I had those bolts come all the way through all six of them and I put a nut with thread locker um, I don't want these to go anywhere. Um, I've tested, I've used filler gauges and everything, um, all sorts of tools to make sure that this is center. You can see straight through it. See all the little teeth and the splines on there. That way it's completely center. That way there's no wobble or minimal, if any, at all. So I just wanted to show you guys this before it goes in behind the plate and you don't see it. I got this from a guy here in town that does electric cars. Um, this whole set up here with the key side and this side was blank I had the clutch um, disc and so I don't know where he got this as part of a trade deal with him is how I got this um, and this saves so much time and it's it's it was totally worth the trade anyway I want to show you guys this so I'm gonna get back to putting this together and we'll come back all right so it took a little longer than I thought my holes weren't lining up for where I had originally drilled them so I had to kind of round them out a little bit to make them a little more oval that way my bolts would go through. I got aftermarket bolts that are way stronger than what I need, but that's totally fine. I'd rather have too much than not enough. So what I did is I had to put the motor on the ground. I'm gonna take y'all down there here in a second. I had to put the motor flat on the ground and then put the transmission on top of it. And by doing that, I can make sure that the splines are perfectly centered. And then I had to remark my holes. What I should have done is this from the beginning is put the transmission on top, then mark my holes um, and get a center punch. Don't be lazy like me and try and think you're all smart. Just get the center punch, poke the hole, you'll know exactly where it is, especially on an aluminum plate like this. It's super easy to see the mark and the drill bits take two seconds to go through them with a little bit of penetrating fluid to make sure your tip doesn't get too hot. Um, so I've got the battery hooked up to the motor. We're gonna give it a test run, so I'm gonna bring y'all down to the floor where I am and uh, you'll be able to see the actual um, transmission shaft spinning with the coupler because I have the bottom plate off um, and normally attaches to the motor which we don't need here but let's get you down there and you'll be able to see it. Alright so I had to get a flashlight so you can see how I have it but this is the transmission on top the electric motor here on the bottom and you got the coupler plate. Um, so here's my adapter you can see the splines are nice and centered in there I can actually move it by hand um, which is good. So I've just got an easy switch attached to it um, I just put it in a gear I don't know what gear it's in um, 
so we're just going to go for it. Alright, here's a moment of truth. The good thing is there's not a lot of movement. We do have a little bit of vibration there. Just like that. Man, that's awesome. All right, so like you saw there, real short, quick video, um, at least for you, it took a little extra work to do some adjustment of those knobs, but um, it went, and the best news is, um, the way it turns, I think we're gonna have to change the way that the motor turns. I'll have to play with it a little more, but I think we can get the polarity to change, that way we don't have a bunch of gears of reverse, and only one of forward. So, um, with that, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around and watching it. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to help you out. Um, but for now, that's going to be the update on this video, and we'll catch you all next time.